I was talking to a friend of mine last night. We was talking about this gang life and and you know and and, and everything. And you know, I, my disclaimer is, you know, you do what you got to do, you do what you want to do. But for me, you know, uh, you know, when I was young, I was about 15. I didn't know what I was doing. I called myself getting in a gang in San Antonio, a San Antonio gang back in the day, San Antonio, Texas, because I felt like, you know, coming up in the system and being young, and uh, it, it, it was kind of like this for me, It was to be honest, it was kind of like, you know, I, I got in the system when I was what? Uh, I really got in the system when I was about nine, but I was in the foster home part of the system, and then I came to the... Uh, uh, the juvenile institutional part of the system probably when I was about 10 going into 11 and uh, I was behind the fence and locked down and you know motherfuckers was getting stabbed up and raped and you know I was in South Texas on the border of Mexico down in Reynosa and Brownsville and uh, you know I had to learn you know that uh, you know it was you know I went through some previous uh, abuse child abuse some torture and some physical torture and stuff that my daddy did to me you know, he got like 25 years for what he did. But nevertheless, these guys, what they was dishing out to me was definitely wasn't nowhere near compared to what my dad did. So I could physically handle the beat downs and I could physically handle all that bullshit. That wasn't no problem. But after a while, it took a uh, it took a mental toll, you know, after a few years, you know, of going through that. And so, you know, I decided when I started to be 13, 14 years old, it was time for me to start finding any way I could to stand up for myself. And usually it meant that I had to, you know, uh, 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 cheat, I guess you could say. I'd sucker punch somebody. I'd do whatever I had to do to get that point across because I was so small. And being one of the very few minorities of whites in the juvenile in the Texas juvenile system during the 80s in the in the, in the south part of Texas was it was rough you know so I had to come up with ways to, to 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 make people fear me you know whether it be I would take a fucking cup and get the pine saw dirty mop water out of the bucket and throw it in your face before I jumped on you or I'd catch you in the cafeteria sitting down and I'd jump on your ass and, and I wouldn't stop until staff came and got me off of you. I would do whatever I had to do to 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 make people respect me. And, you know, after a while I had got the attention of some guys out of San Antonio and they, you know, they really liked the, the my get down. They liked the, what my program. They liked the, the way I did things. You know, it, you know, they understood that it was because of my size is the reason that that I would sneak your ass because uh, you know people could say all they want about oh man just put your dukes up and go head up man and just take an ass whooping well that's easy for you to say when you don't got to sleep with these motherfuckers every night uh, all they saying is hey you know they, they, that my point was never you know uh, caught in other words nobody ever understood my point of view because I was always getting my ass whooped you know people say well you could take an ass whooping and live to fight another day man live to be a bitch another day no that's not happening so I did whatever I thought I had to do to make my, at the end of the day, that I didn't, no harm came to me, but it came to somebody else. And I promise you after a while, it, when I walked in the room, if I had a problem with somebody, everybody's attention was on me and what I was going to do. You know, a guy didn't have his back turned to me no more. When I walked in the room, if you fucked me around and you did something wrong to me, uh, you turned around and either you tried to bring it to me heads up, and but I got your respect no matter what, whether it be through fear or whatever. So joining the gang was a uh, opportunity for me to have something bigger on my shoulder. I said, you know, uh, it was like armor. I could put armor on because now. It wasn't, it wasn't just my reputation you was fucking with. It was a reputation of 20, 30 other motherfuckers, maybe. And maybe four, five, six, maybe even more motherfuckers in that same facility. So, but it came with a, a flaw. And the flaw is, is that what if you were only two or three deep? And some people would say, yeah, well, what about that? So that wasn't such a good deal. It was because there was a percentage. I had a chance of 50-50 whether I had enough guys with me that were with me or whether I was by myself even. Where before I joined the gang, I was always by myself, 100% of the time. So, you know, but then I, the thing that I never thought about was is that you take up on the sins 
a 40, 50, however many dudes you got in your clique or in your set, you take on their sins. So if one of your guys killed somebody's daughter, if one of your guys uh, raped some woman, if one of your guys did any dirt, you responsible for that when you get to the penitentiary, you know, one way or the other. That's going to cause some animosity between you and whoever the victim's family was that you, that, are, that is housed with you. And, you know, at the end of the fucking day, I just, you know, it, it, it got to, there were things I was hearing about that certain people in my set was doing that I, I was like, I couldn't even believe it. I had to hear it from other members. I had to talk, I had to get amongst my other members and reach out and say, hey man, is this true? And, 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 and so many times, more than not, it was true. And I'm going to tell you this, when I got older, I realized that it's hard enough to represent yourself every day as a man. If you are a real man and live by a, you know, a set of morals and values and codes that you, is, that you believe in, right or wrong, it's hard enough to defend those, even amongst the people that's in your set than it is to turn around and represent 50, 60 other people. If you are living your life to the full potential and standing on morals and values that you set forth yourself, that you believe in, especially if they're righteous, you're going to have a hell of a time in life just representing that. Not alone representing 20, 30, 40 other motherfuckers that be on some dumb shit. You know? So at the end of the day, you know, I, I look at it like this. Um, I, I'm just happy enough and, and, and will handle whatever comes to me as a man on my own two fucking feet. Because some of y'all will say, well, I, I'll be in a gang because then I don't have to obey nobody. Fuck everybody. It's, you know, it's me and I'm going to be in chaos. What kind of gang is you in? Because the ones that I know of have structure. And you're going to have to listen to somebody. And that motherfucker may not be righteous. At the end of the day, and at the consequence is a violation and you got you sank you've been sanctioned you know or whatever a punishment for not following an og's call on something or not following through on something that you thought uh was wrong and you was ordered to do or they you was told to do and you didn't do it well i mean what's the difference so if i'm gonna be living by some fucked up ass rules whether it be the law of the land whether it be the man or whether it be another fellow criminal or another motherfucker out here in the life in the street I'd rather live by they law because they shit's on paper and I can fight that but when you in the gang you can't fight that because them motherfuckers gonna put two in the back of your head or they are gonna violate you and assault you you know you gonna get kicked out of the gang anyway your family might get hurt I mean there's a hundred thousand different ways it probably that you can get you know yourself in a situation there so what I'm saying is, is that, you know, something's got to change and, 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 and that's not being involved in any of that.